Good morning guys. I am currently in the center of Jerusalem and what I'm gonna do now is head to Palestine. So let's go on a little adventure together. So the place I am going to is called Ramallah and it is the de facto administrative capital of Palestine. And yeah, I have no idea what it's gonna be like. I'm going there completely by myself. I have no contacts and yeah, let's see what awaits us. And I just wanted to say before anybody makes comments about names and history and stuff, this video has nothing to do with politics or history. I just want to go there and see what it's like. That's all. I just want to show the local life. So somewhere around here there should be a bus station. This place is very crowded, lots of shops and it is definitely a Muslim dominated neighborhood. I can see that. But I have no idea where this bus station is. It should be somewhere around here. So once I get to this bus station, I can get a direct bus to Ramallah and then I have to go through a military checkpoint. So I got my passport with me, but I don't know if the military checkpoint is before the bus station or after the bus station. We'll see. But you can hear the music there. It's all Arabic. This seems to be an Arabic neighborhood. Let's see, where's the bus station? Where, where do you want uh, to go? Ramallah. 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 Street. Here. Street. Street? Yes. Straight? Yes. And then I find the bus. Yes. Yes. Okay. The bus here. Here. okay. Yes. Center. The bus is there. there is a center, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Shukra. Thank you. All right. Some friendly older gentleman pointed me into the right direction. I got to continue straight and then I will find the bus terminal. I am a bit confused because this is still Israel, but it is an Arabic neighborhood. Everybody speaks Arabic. And yeah, you don't see any Jewish people, at least people who are dressed in the conservative way. But so far, this part of Jerusalem is the most normal place I've ever seen. I mean, nothing even remotely special about it. All right, we have found the bus station. It's right here. This is the bus station. Now we gotta go find a bus to Ramallah. Let's see. So I guess the checkpoints are behind the bus station because I haven't walked through any checkpoints yet. Right, the bus ticket was only five and a half shekels, which is about two euros. And yeah, it's a 45 minute journey. So let's see what the journey will be like. A few hundred meters from the bus station starts East Jerusalem. According to international law, the eastern section of Jerusalem is part of Palestine, but Israel has been controlling it since 1967. Today, the status of East Jerusalem is highly contested. Once you go beyond the city limits, the military checkpoints come into view. And there is something else, a massive wall. The entire West Bank or Palestine is surrounded by walls that separate it from Israel and you can only go in or out via checkpoints. As a foreigner, you're generally fine and I have no problems. When I entered Palestine, the Israeli military didn't actually board the bus. They only checked people going into the other direction. I also got checked upon exiting the West Bank. Right guys, welcome to Ramallah. This is the center of Ramallah here, what a place. Lots of stuff going on. Being careful not to get run over here. Look at this guys. People out and about, market streets. Wow. This is a bit more crowded than I expected. I think I wanna get out of this super busy street here because I am still feeling the place out. Not really sure what to think about it yet. This is Ramallah. First impressions, very crowded. Today is Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday. I actually forgot. But uh, yeah, just look at this. Full of people everywhere. So I walked onto another street now. The big roundabout is over there. And yeah, this place is busy. But other than that, it feels pretty normal. Nothing too special about it so far. I am definitely getting a few looks here with the camera, but that's okay, nothing hostile so far. Here we have shops that sell scream masks. Then we have sweets and clothes. This is Zara, but not the real one, I suppose. Then we have a bakery, a place to get juice. And you can see there, everything is in Arabic and then some English as well. 
But you don't see any Hebrew here. I mean, this does not look like Israel at all. This looks like a different country, which it is according to most people, I would say. And over there, this car, this white car, that's the Palestinian police. And I haven't seen those before. Obviously, Palestine has their own police force. Now let's try to cross the street here. Should be okay. All right. But look at this. It is actually way more developed than I thought. Here we have the city mall. Let's head in there. Let's see what's inside the city mall. This is quite a fancy mall here. Did you expect this in Palestine? I did not. If I'm honest, it is a bit intimidating, but not because it's Palestine, because it is so crowded and there are zero tourists here. I have not seen one single foreigner so far, but yeah, some people are looking at me, but then not that much. And they are only looking at me when I speak into my camera. So yeah, very interesting place here. Look at this building. Yeah, I mean, first impressions, this is way more developed than I thought it would be. I mean, this is just a very modern city here. I actually want to sit down and get a coffee, but this street right here is way too crowded for that. So I might find a side street or something where I can just have a coffee. Also, look at this traffic here. So many cars. Here we got a nice BMW. Now the bus ride took about one hour and 20 minutes. But that was because of the traffic. Usually it takes about 45 minutes, but there were lots of traffic jams. And also we did pass a military checkpoint, but the Israeli military did not board the bus. So I think they might do that when we go back to Jerusalem from here. All right, guys, here we have the mausoleum of Yasser Arafat. And yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about him because I want this video to be as non-political as possible. But yeah, he's buried right in there and he was the leader of Palestine for a long time. Now, interesting situation here. There are two soldiers in there and they told me that I wasn't allowed to film the actual grave. So apparently I am allowed to film the outside and the whole complex here, but I am not allowed to film the actual grave. But then they told me that I should take a picture and they posed with the grave. So I will put the picture into the video, but yeah, it was super weird. They didn't speak English, they just told me no filming, and then they said I should delete the video, but I hadn't started filming yet, and they were very friendly, so nothing hostile about them, just a bit weird. And yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody knows what the story is with filming the grave of Yasser Arafat, but yeah, I took a picture, so that's fine. Now, there is a museum here, but it seems to be closed. That was a bit weird, I have to say. There were six soldiers and myself. No other tourists and no people working there. But yeah, I guess that's because the museum and the cafeteria are closed. But anyways, let's go back to the center of Ramallah. Now it would be very helpful if I spoke a bit more Arabic because English levels don't seem to be very high here. But yeah, nothing I can do about that right now. And I do have Google Translate, but I didn't want to get into a discussion with the soldiers there. And they were very friendly, so nothing bad about it. So I've continued for a few streets and now I seem to be in a less busy part of town and we can hear the calls to prayer going on. So I'm looking for some kind of museum slash heritage center because I think that there is also an old town which might be a bit more interesting. I'm not saying that this isn't interesting, it's super interesting, but I wanted to see something a bit more historic here. I have to say there doesn't seem to be that much tourism here because there are no signs anywhere to point you in the right direction. You know, even the mausoleum isn't on the signs. So yeah, but then not too many people come here because the West Bank tours that you can book in Jerusalem generally don't include Ramallah. All right, here we have the old Ottoman courthouse because of course this region was part of the Ottoman Empire. And then here we have a memorial mosaic. Let's have a look at that. Ramallah Martyrs Memorial. So we got a few children, a few women with roses and then also a dove, which symbolizes peace, I suppose, and a kid with a Palestinian flag on a horse. Interesting memorial. So what else is there to see here? So right here we have a church and it's called Transfiguration. Oh no, that's the gift shop. Let's see, which church is this? 
It's an Arabic church. Anyways, let's head inside. Seems to be open. So I just went into this church there and they are actually renovating everything. That's why it's so loud in there and I couldn't really talk inside. But I was welcomed by a very nice old man who spoke very broken English, but I guess he assumed that I was Christian. Anyways, he told me that every Sunday they have more than 200 people attending mass. So yeah, there seems to be a big Christian community here in Ramallah, which I didn't know to be honest. All right, this is definitely the old town here. Not too much going on as you can see. But yeah, interesting place. Here we have a really fancy new Range Rover. So yeah, there's definitely some money here in Palestine. The economy doesn't seem to be that bad. Anyways, let's continue. I think this old town is very small, but there's supposed to be some kind of museum here and I still haven't found it. All right, here we have a museum and heritage building and I've no idea what's in there, but let's go have a look. Just have a look, then I will explain inside about the place when you finish outside. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. So now he's inviting me inside for coffee. Very nice hospitality here. Wow, what a lovely place. So you never had anybody from Luxembourg here? No, I'm sure I have. Well, I mean, it's a... Uh, Luxembourg? Ah, yeah, I can add the flag. Oh, you had. What, is this not Netherlands? It's Luxembourg. Uh, no, Netherlands uh, here. Yeah, okay, yeah, because the flags are Yes, it's the same, similar. but here it's written in Arabic, Luxembourg. Ah, okay. Thank All you. All right. So let's see, where do the visitors come from? German, French, Italian, uh -huh. English, American, Swiss. So how many people from Luxembourg? One, two, Since three, September. four, five, six people. Since September. Okay, yeah. not so bad. So yeah, this house was built around 250 years ago during Ottoman times and it has been in this lovely man's family ever since. And yeah, just look at how beautiful it is. And we have lots of heritage items and pictures and stuff. I think this is definitely a place to check out if you are in Ramallah. Most of the pictures was taken around 1850 to 1970 with a lot of information in each picture. You will see the typical dresses from Ramallah area. Uh, Palestinians, uh, women, women from Ramallah, families, occasions, weddings, neighborhoods. The pictures at this time uh, it tells a lot about the history of Palestine, Ramallah, just as a society, because usually you should tell the society, the history, the facts, and so on and so on. Nice little museum there and lovely guy, great hospitality. And now he told me that I should go check out a hotel with a rooftop cafe. So I think that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, so I'm now walking to the hotel that this guy told me about. And here we have Ramallah City Hall. And just look at this lovely restaurant down there. And then, yeah, here we have nice buildings, coffee shops and hotels. And yeah, this is Palestine. Did you expect it to be this nice? I did not. So the hotel I'm going to is actually this skyscraper over there. And apparently it's the tallest building in Ramallah. So they must have a nice view up there. All right, so I am on a hill now overlooking the city. Pretty impressive. And then right here we have the Carmel Hotel, which has a rooftop cafe apparently. And this hotel must have an amazing view because we are already on the hill. And then it's also the tallest building here. So yeah, let's go check it out. Back in the center of Ramallah now, this place is so chaotic, but super fascinating. Now we gotta walk right and then we'll get to the bus station. I am now in one of the main market streets here and yeah, a lot of stuff going on. We got all the fruits and vegetables and yeah, people selling stuff. I mean, yeah, this place is very happening, especially the center here and you can buy anything you need. For example, sunglasses. Now, I gotta walk over here. The bus station is somewhere over there. And yeah, there's another big market there. Wow, this place is pretty intense. This is the real Palestine here. What a place. Over there we have a mosque. But I am looking for the bus station. It shouldn't be too far away. All right, this looks like a bus station. Wow, what a chaotic place. Now, where is my bus? Somewhere over here. 
Salam. Şey, is Jerusalem? Jerusalem? Okay. Şükran. Right guys, back in Jerusalem now. And yeah, that was a pretty interesting day in Ramallah. Now, I didn't talk about history and politics in this video because that really wasn't the point. I just wanted to show what normal life is like over there. And the situation remains very complicated, but it is a fascinating place to visit because you can see a different side of this region. And also the people were very friendly, very welcoming and very hospitable. Most of them were a bit camera shy and didn't want to be filmed and quite reserved, but I guess that is understandable. Anyways, I still have a few days here and the adventures will continue. So, see you in the next one.